Hey everybody, this video is about solving two-step equations and this, this video just kind of introduces you to what we mean when we say two-step equations. So let's take a look at uh, what we know is a one-step equation. So if we take the equation x plus 3 equals 7, all right, we've got a one-step equation here. Um, the reason we know this is a one-step equation is because the only thing you have to do in order to get to your finished answer where you've got one of the variables by itself on one side of the equation and everything else simplified on the other side, the only thing you got to do is get rid of this 3. That's it. And you do that, and then you wind up with x equals 4. So that's why that is called a one-step equation. It's called, there's one step, and that's this step right here. And that gets you to your answer. So there's something called a two-step equation. All right, I'm going to go to a, another page. And then we're going to pick something that looks kind of like this here. All right, so supposing I have 2x plus 3 equals 7. Now, the reason this is a two-step equation is because if I go ahead with what I did before and I say, well, I'm going to subtract my 3, that gets me to a point where I've got my 4, but then I've got 2x. I'm not done because this coefficient is 2. And the one thing I need, you know, I, I need, I need a, a number of requirements in order to be able to say a problem's done, but you know, the, the important ones are, I need the variable on the variable on one side and I need the numbers on the other side. And then I also need the variable to have a coefficient of one, right? And in other words, if you have one X, that's the same thing as X, right? So I need the variable to have a coefficient of one. So that's what we mean when we say, you know, multi-step equation or one step or two step equation, so the two-step equations we're going to be doing are going to basically be um, following sort of a format that I'm going to ask you to use. So let's take this, let's go, on to, go to a clean page, but let's take this 2x plus 3 equals 7. So the thing I want you guys to always get in the habit of doing, and I think it's, I think it's a good practice, is I want you to always start by putting up what I call a fence, all right? And so we're going to, I'm gonna introduce something uh, that's a, a little corny, but I think it will help you understand um, basically what we're trying to do here. So if we call this a fence, right? And let's, let's pretend, and I don't know if any of you have been to one, but let's pretend we're on a farm, all right? And we're gonna say that any of the variables all right, we're going to say those are cows. And then we're going to say any of the numbers, which is constants, if we're going to use good math vocabulary, are chickens. All right, so we've got cows and we've got chickens. Now, I don't know how many of you have been to a farm, like I said earlier, but generally speaking, usually when they have livestock and everything, um, some livestock can go well together and some can't. Cows and chickens generally do not hang out together because chickens are really dumb. The cows, you know, might step on them or whatever, or they might irritate the cows or whatever. And so we're going to assume that on our farm, on our algebra farm, that we want cows and chickens kept separately. So if you look at this equation right here, okay, so we've got... We've got our cows right here. We'll do that in brown. And we've got our chickens right here. Okay, so I've got plus three and I've got seven here. And so the way we look at this, this doesn't change anything about using, you know, opposites and all that. It's just kind of a way of thinking that you want cows on one side of the fence and you want chickens on the other side of the fence. And a lot of times, if you think about it that way, it might even help you knowing what you want to move and how you want to move it. And when we talk about moving things in algebra, basically we mean moving it to the other side of the equation. All right? And, uh, and you know, we, I've introduced you to that already, so we're going we're gonna to continue to amplify on that. So I've got, I've got two, 
two X for my cows right here. And then I've got three chickens right here. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna move the three chickens over to the other side. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract three chickens from this side. And in doing that, knowing that this is a balanced equation, I gotta do the exact same thing to the other side. So I gotta subtract three from there. And so what that gives me is that gives me two X over here and then seven minus four gives, seven minus three gives me four, right? And so now we're in a, we're in a situation where this is familiar territory, all right? Two X equals four. I know that two is multiplying by four, right? That is a multiplication problem. I'll make a dot there, right? So that's two times four, and we want to do the inverse of that. Well, the inverse of that, let's take another color, is going to be dividing each side by two. And so if I do that, and I divide each side by two, then that gives me x by itself. That's what we want. We want x by itself, not only on its own side of the equation, but also with, uh, with the coefficient of only one, all right? And then four divided by two gives me two. And then we plug that back in and see if that works. Well, if I go two times two plus three, that would give me four plus three, which simplifies down to seven. And that is equal to that. So, that's the basic kind of idea about how these work and the process and the whole concept of cows and chickens. And you might hear me, you know, say it more than once on these videos as we're in this algebra unit. So thanks for watching.